Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a special reading. This is going to be for the Triple Seven Portal, which is tomorrow, the 7th of July, 2023. 2023 adds up to the number 7, so 777. A very powerful, spiritual and lucky portal for the collective, guys. I will be posting something very powerful about this portal on my community. Uh, community page on YouTube. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, if you want to check it out, please subscribe uh, so that you can view my community page. Um, I also have some pictures of me if you are curious how I look like. <laughs> so you can go there and have a look at my pictures on my community page, which I have posted in the past. But let's see guys, thank you so much all of you for being here, thank you all of you for being a part of my journey, thank you so so much, I love you all and I truly appreciate all your love and support guys, truly, thank you so much. Right, so let us see what is this triple seven portal revolving around for, with, you know, for my collective. Let us see, what is the strongest energy? What is it all revolving around with this triple seven portal, please? Self-esteem, ooh, wow. So this is like a boost of confidence, boost in your self-esteem. Your solar plexus is on fire. You're feeling inspirational, you're feeling you know, you just want to take action, you want to achieve goals, you're feeling very ambitious, very, very confident energy, guys, very, very, it's like a very, you know, I am enough kind of an energy here. So the triple seven portal is, it, it's coming in with a boom, wow. Hmm. Um, it might also be a time where you are feeling very motivated or inspired to pursue your creative endeavors, right? Like, you, you could be just feeling like having your own YouTube channel, you know, your own Instagram page where you can post your creative crafts or whatever talents you have so you just want to showcase your creative abilities so this is a very beautiful energy here guys wow i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others yes you are feeling motivated to inspire others to help others right beautiful energy Forgiveness. Okay, so I feel you have felt that you were bound in chains. Perhaps you felt a bit helpless in the past that you can't really change your life or your situation, whatever this is talking about. Guilt. Okay, so it could have been coming from some past guilt right perhaps some mistakes that you made which really made you feel very um, like you're not worth it, right? Or that I'm not a good person. I have made such mistakes, so and so. Forgive yourself, guys. We have all been there. We have all made mistakes, okay? That's how we learn. We're not perfect, okay? We came on earth to manipulate energy, to learn and relearn and unlearn and then relearn again. So it's very natural to make mistakes, right? Forgive yourself. And just see how there's orange and purple and yellow in these cards is talking about your creativity it's talking about being feel you know feeling connected to the divine the angels the 5d realm Wh whatever your soul is guiding you to do right now this is the time to do it guys this the triple seven portal it's like a boost right it's propelling you forward towards your creative endeavors something your soul wants you to do gratitude and this looks like the third eye okay yes so whatever you are trying to pursue here this creative endeavor in your life this is going to open up your heart chakra you would be feeling so happy you would feel so grateful you will understand that whatever happened in the past 
right and where you are right now this is exactly where you are meant to be this is exactly you know what you need to be doing now so this is the next step take it don't be afraid because your third eye is also opening up it's guiding you towards your future it's guiding you to trust in your intuition wow i mean this is a very powerful energy guys you should i mean especially if you are thinking about pursuing a creative endeavor or opening up your own youtube channel or you know just publicly showcasing your talents something on those lines like this reading is for you guys triple seven the best time for you like really just don't even think about it just go ahead do whatever you feel like guys this is a beautiful energy okay forgive yourself whatever guilt or regret you know the past mistakes that you have made forgive yourself forgive others just move on it's not worth it you are just poisoning your energy with whatever you are thinking about what happened in the past don't don't do it guys not worth it okay so right let's see are there any other messages for the triple seven portal what is this portal bringing the collective angels what what is the collective needs to know please for the triple seven portal oh my god look at that true love so i feel you are falling in love with yourself it's like a newfound love it's like you are feeling so light you're feeling so happy so beautiful within yourself if you were picking up on yourself in the past oh i'm not perfect oh my skin is so dull oh my hair is, you know it's stupid whatever you know oh i have pimples i have wrinkles oh i'm fat oh i'm too thin whatever etc etc it's all gonna go away guys you are learning to love yourself a little bit more every day this triple seven portal it's you know i feel the energy is very light i'm not sure if you are feeling this but i have been feeling great like today and even yesterday the past two days i've been feeling so good within myself i've been feeling so light and energetic okay just really happy for no reason like this triple seven portal if you are resonating with my energy this is for you guys you are falling in love with yourself I'm also feeling that you are gifting yourself some beautiful things like a new dress or you know it, perhaps you just um getting some flowers for your home for your room perhaps you are actually looking at buying new mirrors for your for your house whatever okay so yeah this could be a lot of things and i feel it's like it's angelic blessings that's that's being showered upon you for whatever past work shadow work or whatever hard work that you have done in your life in your situation this is a reward beautiful energy guys i'm feeling like i could feel i can feel this energy it's so light i'm so happy all right so anything else for the collective with this triple seven portal we'll take two more cards from this deck the quantum oracle and then we'll get into the tarot is there anything else the collective needs to know okay the guessy you were trapped in your dark thoughts yes but look at that hidden motivations so the intention you are setting an intention that you are enough you are whole within yourself this card is like the ten of cups look at all the purple in the card see the crown chakra is getting activated you will be feeling very light and happy because you are connected to the divine 
it's like angels are all around you if you are seeing light balls around you you know or you you just feel that you are having an illusion that some sparkly things or, or you know some sparkles are being showered upon you or you're just having those kinds of dreams there are a lot of animals that are attracted to you at this time people are just very happy around you there's no resistance it's 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 like a it's like a very positive omen from the universe that things are you know are turning in your favor everything is going on perfectly even if you don't see it right now it's all happening in the background this is a very beautiful ten of cups kind of an energy guys again ten of cups is the card of ultimate true unconditional love i feel you are being showered with that love by the divine realm I feel your spirit guides, your angels are very happy with you at this time, with all the hard work that you have put into yourself, right, in your life. <clears throat> beautiful future, yeah. Yeah, something beautiful is about to happen, guys. <laughs> I don't know. But this feels like this, this is a very profound blessing that could be coming in for you. And I feel some of you have already started feeling all those light, positive, happy energies. Wow, look at that. New supportive connections. So yes, as I said, you could be supporting people around you or you could find that people are being very supportive of you. People are happy. People, you know, there is, there is just a smile on people's face when you enter the room. Everything is just light and positive. Again, these two people are, it looks like that they're painting on a canvas. So you, you could be, you know, getting into partnerships with people that have similar interests such as yours, okay? So that could be a beautiful connection, a partnership that could be coming your way, where you, you and these other people are sharing same interests, some same talents. So, wow. <laughs> So pretty. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's get some tarot cards. What's going on with the triple seven portal? Twelve twelve on the clock, guys. Okay. So let us see what is going on with the oh the moon listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine unnecessary worry let go of your fears revelations will that will make everything clear yes to so see some some clear-cut revelations are coming your way whatever worries you had in the past you know regarding your life or a particular situation like this is telling you that it's it's unnecessary you don't need to worry about that okay just trust your intuition trust in the guidance that the universe is sending your way but let's see that the moon for me is like the divine feminine energy okay so this could be cancer or pisces let's see wow wise counsel so this is like the high priest, the hierophant, unity with the spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Yep, see? Unity with a spiritually minded community. I'm telling you, there are people around you that, that have very similar interests or that share the same life path such as yours. So you could be coming together with such people and because of this, you know, of these connections, of the support that you are receiving, you will be feeling very happy and light. You will receive answers within yourself. Like you don't need to seek answers anywhere outside of your own um, intuition and body, okay? You will have the answers. So this is like the Taurus energy, not like it's, it's Taurus energy. Yeah, so um, see, we have Om, we have the cross here. We also have some, um, you know, some star signs. It's like yin and yang. So you could be combining your own methods of prayers with other methods, right? You could be combining some spiritual beliefs 
other spiritual beliefs with yours. So some mix and matching going on where you are creating a very profound energy of, you know, that there's, that, there's like a prayer or a way to connect uh, with the divine. This 777 portal is actually supporting all of these energies. Okay, so if you feel, if you suddenly feel guided to pray, do that. If you suddenly feel guided to research on some spiritual beliefs, right? Because you, you just want to. So it, it's not random, it's not a coincidence, guys. Just go ahead, do that. Okay, too many cards fell down, so I'll not take those, but let's see. <clears throat> What is going on with the triple seven portal? What does the collective needs to know? Okay. So, okay. <clears throat> Eight of cups in the reverse. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, or leaving home. Okay, so the Eight of Cups, which is telling us to move on, like that's what it generally means. This card is coming up in the reverse. Sorry about the background noise, guys. So yes, I do feel that you have been feeling very stuck, and it's coming right below the Guild card. So I'm not sure whatever guilt you have from the past if you made some mistakes or if you think that why the hell did i do it why the hell did i say those things to somebody or whatever whoever you are resonating with right so yeah it's, it's time for you to leave all that because this energy is keeping you stuck it's like a blockage so it's time for you to release those energies guys okay forgive yourself again there's that energy of forgiving yourself and forgiving others. It's not worth keeping yourself stuck in something which is really or truly not serving you. So let it go. Um, the cups card is telling us like this is this could be very emotional. This this has been very emotional. Whatever this situation is, it has kept you emotionally very stuck. Like you, you have been feeling very stuck and scared that things are not going your way or you, you might have felt abandoned or you might have felt that you're just not worth it because you've made so many mistakes. Whatever. It's, it's time to leave all that behind, guys. It's not worth it, okay? Okay, anything else for the 777 portal, please? What is going on? Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. So this is again like that supportive new connections. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so I'm getting that even if you feel that you have lost um, a battle, it doesn't mean that you have lost a war, okay? So yeah, because the Six of Wands in the reverse could, could be talking about some kind of a defeat or you feeling defeated within yourself so the wise counselor here the high priest is telling you that this situation whatever you are involved in it might look that you are losing out on something or you might you are losing out on someone okay so it might look that you are losing a battle but it's just a battle it's not the war the war will be yours you will win this war okay right now it's time for you to celebrate just be happy and grateful for all the support the angels are bringing you in form of animals and new supportive connections okay just this happy positive light energy that's coming your way people wanting to be with you wanting to celebrate with you okay so yes news worth celebrating joyful announcements like in engagements weddings pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close communities or chosen families yeah so there is a beautiful news that could be coming your way so i'm not sure if this news is coming for you or 
if this news is making you feel defeated in some way okay again this is a very temporary phase whatever situation that's making you feel defeated it's temporary it's just a battle lost not the whole war okay guys yeah but even if this is you know this th this is not your news if this is somebody else celebrating in their life which is causing you trouble which is bothering you in some way let it go not worth it it's temporary okay and for the others of you there is a beautiful happy news coming your way it's really going to make you feel so happy you just want to dance and celebrate all the time right let's see seven of wands so stand up for yourself and your beliefs have confidence challenge those in power but also choose your battles wisely see as i said battle this is a battle not the whole war you will win in the end because you are coming up as the divine feminine okay or the more spiritual one in the connection whatever situation you are in okay so yeah i am picking up on a divine feminine energy here so stand up for your beliefs, stand up for yourself, okay? Have confidence. If there is something that's bothering you or if, or if there are people around you that are not really supportive or that are just trying to make you feel guilty or, you know, just really um, bad about yourself, stand up for yourself. You don't need to deal with that, with, with that bullshit. There is nobody in this world who can you know just come and try and be belittle you in any way without your consent only your consent can give the other person power if you do not give them any kind of a consent nobody can do this to you okay so yeah <clears throat> again just a battle just a battle not the whole war <clears throat> Anything else with the collective with this triple seven portal? I'll just take three more cards and then one card as a guidance. Anything else for my viewer, please? What does the viewer needs to know? What does the collective needs to know? Okay. The King of Wands, Sagittarius energy. We have the Three of Swords. And the Five of Cups, wow. So yes, yeah, see? <clears throat> the King of Wands, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking, keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. Exactly what I said. This is a time for you to showcase your abilities, your creative talents. Do that. Don't be afraid what, what other people are going to think about me, right? And, you know, nobody's just going to like my talent, my videos, my creativity. Nobody's just going to... That's what I thought, guys, okay? For your kind information, okay, not, not telling you that in a sarcastic manner but i'm being very truthful about it that's what i thought when i started my youtube channel i thought not even 50 people will come and watch my um and you know my channel not even 50 not even 10 or 20 will come and subscribe to my channel there are so many tarot readers out there why will somebody just want to come and watch me that is that's what my insecurity was and i kept delaying having my own youtube channel for the longest time okay but there was a point when the signs from the universe from my angels they were in my face you need to do this because the more that i kept delaying it the more restless i kept feeling okay the more unhappy i was there was just something missing in my life and i knew it i knew that i needed to do something about my creativity right because i am intuitive i can pick up on energies i can have a look into the future the signs are all around me i'm very it's very easy for me to read the omens and signs so we have the bike guys the bike is back 
yeah, it's back, guys. Anyway, <laughs> let it go. All right, so this is actually Leo energy as well. Okay, so Leo is all about creativity, um, getting back in touch with your childhood, um, you know, things that you liked when you were a child, uh, you know, the art, the creativity, perhaps you, you liked um, viewing or watching some TV shows when you were a child, perhaps you liked reading some books when you were a child, just do that guys, get in touch with your childhood creativities, whatever made you happy when you were a child, get in touch with that and automatically and automatically whatever you need to do in your future it will be revealed because our childhood is very much connected to our soul there's no manipulation there's no corruption so what we like as a child is actually what our soul likes right it drives us it makes us happy Get in touch with your childhood creative endeavors, whatever you wanted to be in your childhood, whatever you wanted to do being a child when you were a child, do that. You will have your answers, guys, okay? Also, do not be afraid to take criticism, okay? Because not everybody will like what you are showcasing, right? I know that. Not everybody will like. Some people will come and comment on your channel some people will just you know unsubscribe for no reason okay so we have those kinds of people and they're everywhere do not be afraid of those energies it's all right okay we all have our own free will some people like it some people don't which is fine that doesn't mean that you will stop in your way don't stop midway okay keep going you will have your success right so again see so great sadness that will heal with time so again if you were feeling sad if you were feeling very anxious or worried about your life or any particular situation just getting in touch with your creativity will end that sadness that depression okay five of cups in the reverse so what you thought was lost is now going to come back to you this is going to turn into a very positive energy okay so some opportunities that you were not looking at or you knew are around you but you were just not aware because you were so closed off to those opportunities right because your heart chakra was imbalanced your your third eye was just closed or it was just shut because of all this sadness this heartache this pain that you received in the past it's all about to come to an end guys this missed opportunity is about to turn into something very beautiful a brilliant news that's worth celebrating okay wow okay what's the time hmm Yep, I have decided that I will not exceed this video more than 30-35 minutes, so that's my promise to myself. <laughs> I want to keep to that promise, guys. Yes. Okay, anything else? Look at that. The strength Leo energy. We have the page of wands, enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to... It's all about creativity, guys. I'm telling you, this is the time for you to pursue your creative endeavors. This is the time. You will receive many good news and opportunities, brilliant, um, you, you know, just new doors opening such a positive energy we have strength personal power the and assertiveness portrayed with kindness compassion that brings about forgiveness realizing that you are stronger than you knew yep see so you are stronger than you know once you start walking down this path you will understand that this is what you were always meant to do and all that fear that worry it was for nothing it was just 
it was unreasonable guys okay so one last card anything else any special message for the collective okay so we have a king of swords intelligent impartial respected stoic receiving wise at wise remain objective and fair-minded public speak again public speaking communicate clearly unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable okay so i'm not sure if you are dealing with somebody like that okay who's not emotionally available to you right now could be an air sign an aquarius or gemini libra whatever with the king of wands here it could also be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius we do have cancer pisces taurus and leo very strongly in this reading leo is very strong especially okay so i'm not sure if you are dealing with somebody who's very stubborn in their ways who's not emotionally available to you okay so again this is a battle lost okay if this person is not available it's just a battle lost it's very temporary it's a phase this will pass this too shall pass okay the battle is lost but not the war you will win this war okay yep see failing to recognize a magical opportunity yes so this person here this person is failing to recognize a magical opportunity that they can have with you right this person is very discontent they are very um distracted by what's happening in their life i'm getting that that this could be a divine masculine okay so yeah this person is not actually that they're they're really lost in their 3d materialistic world they're very bored they're very discontent in their life they're just lost in their own world so it's time for them to wake up i feel this person with the triple seven portal will also be awakened like there is a big push coming for this person this person will ultimately have to wake up from their slumber okay from their sleep so for you the guidance is that this is a battle lost not the whole war let it go enjoy the beautiful energies that are coming your way the blessings that the divine is bringing you 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 deserve it guys you deserve it seriously okay time for you to pursue your creativity you will be soaring high like an eagle rainbow colors all around unicorns happiness positive energy very beautiful very beautiful okay okay so we have loss and one more card and the honoring path okay so i feel that you need to let this person go right now right because this person is not doing the honorable thing they are not honoring their own in intentions they're not honoring their own intuition their feelings their heart they're not honoring it and in turn they are not honoring you they're not respecting you they're not recognizing your value right the beautiful opportunity that they can have with you so you need to, like even though this looks like a loss this is not a loss guys okay if you are losing out on somebody who's not respecting you or valuing you it's not a loss it's a loss for that person okay not you so let it go okay the sun is setting down but when the sun comes back up again it has to come back again right it has to come back up again at some point this ship that you think was lost this will come back because the ship can't keep sailing over the water for all eternity it has to come back to the shore right it has to come back home sometime let go of it don't worry about it i'm seeing so many beautiful things happening for you guys wow i'm just so happy look at that cycle of increase oh my god making me so happy this is abundance this is clarity this is miracle miracles and blessings this is a very clear path ahead where you can actually reach your goal your destination look at the castle in the background so this is an upgrade in the timeline guys 
This is an upgrade. Wow. I'm so blown away by the reading. <laughs> Just feeling so happy. Okay, guys, this was our reading. Hope it helped and resonated. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.